Yes, way up at Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and my girl Jasmine is here from thejasminebrand.com. Yes. All right, well, Ice Spice has yet another notch under her belt. She is the artist with the most top five hits on the Hot 100 in 2023. Oh, that's major. Yes, Karma with Taylor Swift, Boys Alaya with Pink Panther as Princess Diana with Nicki Minaj. I mean, right now, that's uh, what she has going on, so shout out to her. Okay. For that. Um, as far as the 50 most streamed rappers on Spotify, mm-hmm. I think we all know who's number one on that list. Of course we do. Who? Drake. Yes. But number two is Eminem. I'm kind of surprised by this. Eminem <laughs> is no joke. He's going nowhere. And he's not even put an album out in forever. And he's still number two. <laughs> yes. On the most streamed rappers on Spotify. Okay. Number three is Kanye. Number four is Juice World, And number five is XXXTentacion. Okay. Any women? I'm trying to look really quick. Any women on this list? Nicki uh, Minaj is number 10. Okay. There we go. All yeah, right. Yeah. So shout out to her. Uh, Cardi is number 18. Okay. On the list. And... I'm oh, Megan to... Thee Stallion is 46. Mm-hmm. So those are the three women on the list. Gosh. I'm so... Eminem is... That's amazing to me. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Now, people are very angry about B. Simone. And she's trending, mm-hmm. and that is all because of her latest post about subscribing to her close friends. She posted, if you're not on my close friends, you're not going to see much of my life during this time. Close friends, I love you. Thank for thank you for being a safe space. And then there's a link, join my close friends now. Mm. Uh, people are very upset yes. because they feel like she's offering subscriptions to see her life after the passing of her good friend, Jackie O. Right. Now, they, uh, I saw some of the people responding. B. Simone is asking for people to pay for access to her close friends as she grieves her friend, Jackie O. How could you ever bring yourself to use your friend's passing as a means to get people to pay for your close friends? Is insanity. This is beyond low and disgusting. Mm. What do you think, Angela? Um, now, I'll, I'll read somebody in her defense. And, okay. And somebody said, y'all are really some goofies. B. Simone been promoting her close friends as paid subscription, not because Jackie has passed. Y'all should cancel yourself first, you dumb Fs. Okay. All right. Now, my thing is this. Yeah, she has always done this with close friends. This was terrible, poor timing. <laughs> Absolutely. To yeah. post something like this. And yeah. I can't say what her intentions were or where her heart is at on this. It just seemed like a terrible idea. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I, I agree with you. Because she did not specifically say, if you want to see me mourning my, my friend. My friend. No, she didn't. But yeah, you're right. It was just poor timing. And she, then, and she does promote this this close friends thing a lot. <laughs> right. I think, um, and you know, she's saying, you're not going to see much of my life during this time. Close friends, I love you. Thank you for being a safe space. That was... You know, because she's it seems like she's going through something right, right now. Of I think course she is. So that's why I feel like it was an inappropriate post. Okay. I, I think um, she could have just said, thank you to my close friends. I love you for being a safe space. Left it at that. Right. Or if you want to post a link to join my close friends, just do that. Or just don't post. Don't do that right now. Yeah. yeah. It just was poor, poor timing. The timing was... Awful. Uh, Yeah, and people were definitely dragging her. All right, now, Hollywood and TV writers have been on strike for the past month, Mm -hmm. and actors have now signaled that they're willing to join those picket lines because they have their own battles. And this is something I think that was anticipated Mm -hmm. that was going to happen. On Monday, members of SAG-AFTRA, that represents film and TV actors, I'm a part of SAG-AFTRA because we actually had to join the union in order to be a full-time employee here at Mm iHeart. They voted to authorize a strike if they don't reach a deal with major entertainment company studios by June 30th, and nearly 98% of voting members were in favor of that strike. Mm. So we know this writer strike has been going on. It's been affecting a lot of different shows that you might love. Okay, It's been affecting award shows. Yeah, it definitely has. Right, so this is going to be even doubly uh, crippling. If actors become involved, right. For the entertainment industry. So actors are seeking higher pay in light of lower residual payments for streaming content. Same thing writers are looking for, right? right. Because mm-hmm. there's all these streaming services right. that's been, uh, there's no precedent for that mm-hmm. prior to this. And so it's not like you're getting the money from the reruns and syndication and all of that. Right. Um, they want more generous studio contributions to their benefit plans. And the union is also seeking limits on self-taped auditions for actors. They said that's become a massive, daily, uncompensated burden on the lives of performers. Now, I thought that was interesting. Mm -hmm. The whole, you know, the self-taping and how it's a kind of a a bit much for them. Yeah, I didn't know you got paid to go on auditions. I would think that taping your audition and setting it in would actually be easier. I would think so, too. But it's something we don't know because we're not in this world. 
All right, so that is, uh, we'll keep you guys updated. June 30th. By June 30th, right? Yeah, with that, by June 30th. Okay. All right, that is your Yeetie. And when we come back, we have About Last Night, where we'll be discussing what went down last night. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I love hearing about your dating life. (laughs) 